Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Dota 2 but Mega Boss, which is made by Ecstasy. Dota 2 but the Dia team have only one player of a very strong hero. And heroes cannot respawn if the boss dies, the Radiant wins. So, uh, this is a fairly straightforward mode. It's Dota but 1 versus 5. But there's also an extra option where you can play 1 versus 10, and that's the one we're doing today. Uh, so, one player is playing as the boss, and the boss is just kind of a normal Dota hero, but stronger. And the other players are normal Dota heroes, but normal Dota heroes. And then you just kind of try to kill the boss. The boss wins by killing the opposing base or killing all of their players. And uh, the other players win by killing the boss or killing the boss's base. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's get right into it. Okay, we got ourselves Primal Beast, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what we can make happen with this boy. Should probably get some wards just so we have some vision. Now, uh, we are currently playing on the setting easy, which means I am easy to kill. <laughs> easy is the difficulty for how hard it is to play against the, the boss, not how hard it is to play as the boss. So that means um, this is the weakest the game mode currently makes us and uh, we'll just kind of see how that works out for us right we'll just kind of see what we can do with that but uh, let's have a quick little look at our uh, stuff here we have some boosts so you can see our abilities are increased by 30 percent we get 45 all stats 30 33 percent for our 33 percent more for our primary attribute and we get uh 12 percent bonus movement speed status resistance and spell amplification so we can kind of charge up our ability and then just kind of come trampling in there. Didn't kill, didn't kill, but that's okay. Towers are kind of scary, as you can see. So we need to be a tad little bit careful there. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of how it's going to be. Uh, for our purposes, we're mostly going to sit back and be very careful. We are playing against 10 heroes. And turns out 10 heroes are... That, that's a lot. That's just a lot of heroes. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> There's just a bunch of them. So we need to be really careful with that. Um, but as soon as we get Aghanim Scepter, I'm looking forward to just kind of like crushing some people out of existence. Hello. <laughs> nice. That's a kill. <laughs> All right. Now here's another thing. You may have noticed I got a shit ton of gold for that. Um, yeah, that's just kind of like a feature of the mod. This is just how it's meant to work right this isn't like a bug or anything like that uh, they also get a lot of gold so it's a mode that just kind of moves really quickly if we get kills we get a shit ton of money but also if they get kills they get a shit ton of money well obviously if they get a kill they win the game but if they get creep kills they get a ton of money they if they get tower kills they get a ton of money so um generally speaking it's a pretty high gold mode and you can see they are leveling up fairly quickly. So while yes, I get a lot of value out of items and I get the items very quickly, um, there is sort of the problem that I'm gonna encounter where oh, we gotta be careful with the tower. I've, I've, I'm gonna run into an issue with people just uh, becoming able to survive our stuff and then disabling us. So I actually kind of need to be a bit careful in that regard. Uh, let's get some magic resistance during trample for what it's worth. Now, we're playing Dota 2, so we already know what item we need, right? <laughs> oh, is that a Drow Ranger? That's a hero we just learned a lot about, isn't it? Okay, this is probably not gonna kill, but I can stomp her down like this. Now, our opponents can buy back. And they can resurrect each other, but they don't respawn normally. I, however, uh, can do neither of those things. If I die a single time, the game is over. Uh, so I need to be kind of careful there. Um, well, I think like a fairy trinket sounds okay. Fairy trinket sounds good. Uh, that's a vice dealer. Oh, no. We're not getting there. Yeah, I gotta be really careful around these towers. <laughs> Maybe I should try and bother the top a little bit. Now, the way I win is by pushing. I need to actually clear the opposing base. However, the towers are really strong, as you can tell. So how do we do that? Well, uh, we can actually upgrade our items. So there's level 2, level 3, Heart of Tarask. 
So we are not just going to get six slotted and then be done immediately. Um, we can continue scaling. Oh, wow, okay. So this might be a problem. Do I buy a Radiance? I'm a little unsure what I'm supposed to do here because, like, right now, I... They're not, not letting me in. I can't get any kills. Uh, maybe that's something that we need to fix. Wasn't there somebody over here? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Alright, alright. We found some of them. Okay, we're taking damage. We have our charges on the E. We can have more than five. <gasps> what happens if I cast it now? Oh, dear. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> That's what we like to see. Throw a rock. Oh, punched us out of that. Pick up the Rubik. Cast our E again. This is why we went for that early. But we are having some problems. I think we gotta just kind of start stomping some people. And E, E, E. Come on! Oh! Damn. Yeah. I think I think there you can see it, right? Like, yeah, I get powerful really quickly. But uh, if I get caught, we get disabled, we can die very much so. So I think we kind of learned our lesson there. Maybe a bit too aggressive. Let's go again. Okay, we have stayed on the easy difficulty, but we've got ourselves maybe a bit of a better character. I got Lashrock, who seemed like uh, a god because, you know, it's Lashrock. <laughs> I think Lashrock just generally seems like the best hero that has ever existed. And so it just seemed like a good fit, right? And we'll, we'll try what we can do with him. Of course, we get uh, Bloodstone right away, and then we can pull Snow wear everything down, and that should be pretty effective. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. But with Lashuk, we have access to lots of AoE that will uh, tick even if we are disabled, which is a huge deal, right? Um, so I like that the creeps just kind of like spawn in early. Makes it so we don't have to wait so long when loading between matches. It's a very nice thing to just kind of... Uh, have kept in mind when making the mode. But yeah, Leshrock is just kind of like a hero that does a lot of AoE damage, uh, that doesn't really get disabled by anything. So the biggest problem, of course, the scariest thing our opponents can do to us is they can hit us with 16 hours of disables. But that doesn't really work against Leshrock, right? Because against, against Leshrock, uh, Pulse Snow is just still going to be ticking. And honestly, once we get that ability, we'll probably just never turn it off. Um, but yeah, so Pulse Nova is still going to be going on. And with Pulse Nova active, I think our opponents are going to have a really hard time fighting into us. Um, and also, Leshrock can push. Our goal here is either to wipe them out completely, so they don't have a way to come back anymore, uh, or uh, to actually push down their buildings. Yeah, gotta just kind of push. And that seems like something that... The Shrock might be able to do a bit better than Primal Beast. So, you know, we'll see. Alright, get that tier 1 token, Fairy Trinket again, that's really good. I am still playing a little bit safer. Although it would be nice to go for a kill, I think. But I feel like I should make sure I have my Bloodstone before I do that. Because without Bloodstone, we're just kind of taking a really big risk. And that's probably just not worth it, right? Hello there. No, oh, but this is good. Somebody overextended. Sick. Oh, we got so much money. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves Sange and Kaya level 2. Uh-huh. Just go straight for the level 2. Status resistance seems king. Right? Status resistance is exactly what we need. So, let's just get ourselves a whole bunch of that. And honestly, level 11, maybe one more level, then we can start trying to fight people a little bit. Well, that seems okay. No, I don't know. We'll see. Mana right now is actually a problem. I mean, we have, we have the Kion Sange going on, but... I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Alright. We're level 12, we have Bloodstone, we have Kayan Sange level 2. 
Let's go. It's a bounty hunter. Oh, wow. That's not a bounty hunter anymore. <laughs> bounty hunted. Very good. As a bristleback. Well, I mean, if they're going to just kind of like come to resurrect their bounty hunter, that's okay with me. I can do this. Oh, that's annoying, but I'm actually okay, right? Oh, well, no, 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 no. I'm not okay against the tower. I am uh, retreating. I am getting out of there. No, thank you. Towers are scary. Get Shiva's guard. So, Ancient Apparition is actually a terrifying hero. Because, of course, we get hit by Ice Blast. I mean, I could try and camp the Ancient Apparition's body, but, like... Maybe not the best idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can't catch up, can't catch up. Hello, it's Cool DJ Business Bounty. Today, Cool DJ Bounty is doing his taxes. And you should be responsible too. You should leave a like on the video. Anyway, back to business. Boots. Take you, upgrade you, get boots of travel. We need to move around the map pretty aggressively. We might even get a blink dagger, if I'm honest. Our opponents are currently trying to dodge us a lot. Which is annoying. But I guess that's just what's gonna happen, right? Oh, hello. These are not real. What's the Ember Spirit? Ah, ha, ha. Come on. Nice. <laughs> Sick. Terror Blade is going to be a problem too, though. Because Terror Blade, of course, gets... Um, gets some filthy, filthy damage potential. Oh, let's get Bloodstone free. That sounds sick. Alright, hello. Can we push? No. No, no, no. Cannot push. Not at all. You know what? I'm actually gonna go back. Actually, you know what? I'm not going back. No, we're fine though. I mean, unless they can somehow magically hunt me down, but... I don't think so. I think we're okay. I'm a bit worried about another Ice Blast coming out, but that should be on cooldown for a while, right? That should be on cooldown. So we'll we'll just go back and we'll chill. We'll just take it easy. We'll just be here, right? It's good. All right. You know what? I think we need a Blink Dagger. We need Blink Dagger and Hex. Like We just got to actually be proactive. We actually got to go in and kill things. And there's not much that's going to be better in that regard than the classic Blink Dagger Hex combo. So let's just get that. Hello. Okay. That's one kill. That hit us, but it's okay. Doesn't seem like there's any immediate follow-up. We got this guy. And here's another one. Down you go. Ooh. Do we keep fighting? It's a scary font, but I think actually right now we're fine. This is still disabled. Why is this still disabled? I have some debuff on me that's not showing anymore. Oh, come here. Come here. Yes, let's go. Nice. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. What am I dying to? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, my God. Damn. It's hard. It's tough. Dying to the tower, mainly. No, it wasn't just the tower, was it? Like, I think they were also just like... Other things are hitting me. But yeah, the towers, they have massive range. It's really difficult to evade them. All right, let's just try again. Okay, we are back. This time we have increased the difficulty level a little bit. We are now on normal. And uh, hopefully that will make this a bit more doable. 
I didn't want to just kind of stick too easy stubbornly, right? Like ultimately we wanted to be a bit more competitive. And honestly, the last two games weren't really that close. I mean, maybe that's in part because I was too, like running into towers sillily, but at the same time, I also feel like our opponents were actually just kind of really strong and, and that was a problem. So let's try a bit of a different approach. We're going to go ahead and play Gyrocopter. We got ourselves this, so you can see that our modifiers are um, here. You can just have a quick little look at them. And then uh, we're going to just go ahead and see what we can do with this gyrocopter, right? We got go ourselves uh, the flak cannon. I think flak cannon should be really powerful. Uh, we got ourselves the rocket barrage, which should scale really nicely once we get the Aghanim's shard as well. Um, Gyrocopter has big AoEs and he also fights really nicely when stunned because of his Aghanim Scepter. We're not going up against Ancient Apparition this time, which is good. Uh, another factor is that, uh, another reason why we went up with the difficulty a little bit, is because people are getting better at it, I think. Like, you know, people have played against us a bit now and they have a, a, good, a better idea of what to expect. And that's definitely a factor to keep in mind. Alright, just applying some pressure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go back into the jungle. <laughs> Just go back into the jungle and continue farming there. We also want to pick up this. Ultimately, the main goal right now is just to get ourselves some resources. I want to get Aghanim Scepter and honestly, then just kind of go for right-click stuff. We're Gyrocopter. We're pretty good at right-clicking things. So let's just kind of try and, and, and get that done. All right, let's just try to get value out of that. How many shots do we get? Ten. That's quite a lot. Uh, possessed mask? Sure. Why not? It's a little bit of lifesteal, right? I mean, it's not a huge amount, but we'll take it. Here we go. <clears throat> so there's the techies in the mid. Oh, that's the wrong unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That is a lot of damage. That's actually kind of crazy. All right. Gotta be careful there. I mean, I couldn't just stand inside of him. Like, yeah, I know that if I stop moving, I won't take damage. But if I stop moving, I probably die. <laughs> So that's not really an option. And should be a kill. Nice. Alright, we got our first big initial burst of money. Let's get a satanic right away. We're gonna go out and equip a whole bunch of items first, right? We'll just kind of get a, a whole bunch of the standard kind of carry stuff that you would expect. Look, I'm not planning on doing anything fancy here. I'm just going to play Gyrocopter in the way we expect Gyrocopter to be played. Um, because I, you know, picked him for that reason. I thought he might do okay. Pick up these guys. Uh, Techies again in the mid. Do you want to try? Okay, that's going to connect. It's a mine with disarmed right now. Oh. No, I think we should be fine waiting. Alright. We'll just kind of ugh, panic slightly, but survive. <laughs> Focus gear. Yeah, I need BKB. We gotta get a BKB, okay. So now we have BKB. I'm thinking I just buy a Divine Rapier. If I die a single time, it's over anyway. So Divine Rapier doesn't have a downside, right? It, it's just, just should be good. Uh, where's this alchemist? Oh, we couldn't find him. It's unfortunate. I'm thinking that we might actually have reached a stage, but now they are probably starting to hunt for me a little bit. But if that's what happens, then I guess that's just what happens, right? We'll just have to deal with it. I gotta... I gotta farm up. I gotta get some kills. I gotta get some items. I would really, really love getting some kills. We could just... 
get a single one somewhere. That would be so much gold. We should get in this so I have a better chance of catching them. Alchemist was up here a second ago. He did see me disable that, so I think the odds of him actually showing up are very low. But, uh, yeah. Gotta pray, right? <laughs> Alright, we have Aghanim's shard. That's good. Oh, there's Alchemist again. If he's just sitting at his tower, I can't really go in. If he's just sitting at his tower, then we are... Unfortunately, unable to really do very much. So we'll just uh, keep playing it safe. I could go bottom. There's a bunch of creeps there. Tier 2. Ooh, what are we getting? Growth ball, probably? Quicksilver amulet is a forbidden one. Oh, I like it. It's a good item. Alright, let's see. There they are. Cooldown. Hmm. Can't follow up on it. I can't follow up on it. I mean, I think applying the pressure is a good idea. Keep him away from the tower. But uh, I need to actually be able to do something afterwards. And right there, that wasn't possible. Where are they? Are really just not showing themselves. All right, let's get some wards. We have the divine rapier. That's a big win. Uh, after divine rapier, I think I do just get crits, right? I find it unlikely that they'll specifically buy evasion. I mean, they could, but again, I find it unlikely. Um, and crits is gonna just like do way more damage. That's fine. Okay. All right, we're getting stunned. Ooh, no, I'm dead. Oh, I killed a lot of them. I killed a lot of them. Come on now. This gotta be doable. Mm. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What's our strategy? Okay, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Okay, we got ourselves Beast Master. Now, Beast Master uh, feels like uh, maybe a bit of an odd choice. We're not really going to rely that much on Inner Beast. Um, but I think the summons might actually be pretty useful. I like Wild Axes a lot. And I like Primal Roar with the Bongo Drums. So, the idea is to just kind of get the Bongo Drums as quickly as possible. And then, and then see if we can maybe get some value out of this. Honestly, I feel like these boars could be really strong. I mean, look at them. Right? Look at this dude. He's speedy. They do scale up. So they, they do work. And also, axes are a terrifying ability when you scale them up even just a tad a little bit. So I don't know. I feel like I feel like Beastmaster might be might be might be alright. That's uh that's the plan at least. We should get ourselves the voids again. I'll get a point into Inner Beast, I suppose. And uh, Wild Axis, super long range, right? That's just great. We can keep things away. We don't ever have to worry. Um, I also like that with the summons, we have like an automatic, you know, kind of set of allies that will just keep us safe. Maybe I should be leveling up the summons. I don't know. I feel like the axes are just like more likely to help us get a kill. Right? We can like possibly throw in axes into a roar as soon as we hit level 6. And there's a good chance that should finish somebody off. But we will see. Alright, roar. Nice. Sick, sick, sick. That's exactly what we need. We gotta get these kills. Because if we get some kills, we can then start snowboarding that a little bit. Let's tank up. Let's tank up. Let's get a heart. And then... I think we need to get a blink dagger. So we can kind of keep up an aggressive 
aggressive bit of momentum here. Nice, very good, very good. Uh, we'll get extra wild access power. So we do need status resistance, right? And I think Kaya and Sange is just unavoidable as an item. So let's pick that up now. Uh, nice. All right. I like it. I like it. I think we're, we're, we're getting some good momentum here. No, we got to stay away from this for now. We're not going to go for any towers just yet. Um, that will have to wait. All right, Axis. Eh, they don't really do very much, but that's okay. I am playing way more aggressively with Beastmaster, and I think that's really... That's what we gotta do here, right? Like, if we want this to succeed. There's our summons. They're just gonna go ahead and kill Sunrise. Sick. Corius Invincible. That's fine. Over here we go. Up here, Enigma. Okay. Yeah. Look, if I don't have a team, I'll just make my own. <laughs> drums, bongo drums. Jump. Jump. Why does it not have a cooldown? What's going on with that? All right. That's interesting. Movement speed aura to Beastmaster and his units. Uh, sure. All right. Go ahead and get more summons. We have a lot of gold. Let's upgrade this bad boy. And then, how does Lincoln scale? Just out of curiosity. It doesn't. Okay, that's... I guess that's good to know. We can't get more Lincolns. That doesn't really do anything. Let's get a Sword Cross. That's going to be nice for our summons. I am still relying on these. And I, I think we will rely on them for the entire game. I think they are actually probably going to be fairly effective. And that's a kill. Nice. Alright, let's go, my boys. Oh, nope. Stay away from the tower. <laughs> hey, Mortred Gaia. Thank you so much for the... Uh, what is up, my friend? Got him. We run, we run, we run, we run. Juggernaut. War. Nice. Godlike streak. There's another one down. Oh, we're just sniping them out left and right. Dagon? Dagon? What do we get? Dagon? It's Dagon? <laughs> uh huh. I'll just kind of beat this guy up. No, you can't bin against us. Strength blink. Ooh. Can we upgrade strength blink? No, we can't upgrade the rest strength blink. But I think we get Strength Blink anyway, and then just kind of like upgrade a heart. Can we go max level heart? Yes. 405 strength. I mean, that'll, that'll do some damage, right? Yes. Tier 2 token. All right, let's stop abusing the other one. Feels a little bit like cheating. <laughs> All right, uh, Slaughter's up at the top. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna TP in. I can TP. I've got that button. We've got the technology. There he goes. Blow him up. No chance for you, my friend. Hawk here. Uh-huh. Mars killed my dude. Oh, no. Oh, what did I do? Somehow stuck myself between some trees here. Soul Cross, upgrade that. We can probably push a tower. Yeah. I mean, it's not free. But it's possible. Oh, I gotta be careful. Ah, it burns me out of mana. The mana loss, that's, that's a problem. I can tank it. I can mostly tank it, but I can't really just completely run out of mana. Dead? No, 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 no. This time around, we are doing it. This time around, we'll win. 
Mm-hmm. Get him. Nice. Uh, while the axe is cooldown redu reduction, right? So, Kai and Sange are free. Get the Agnum's Blessing consumed. And what's a good next item? I probably need to push, but like, maybe I just need to do more AoE damage. Like, I can, I think I'm just going to build a Radiance. I think we can push with what we've got. I don't think we need to specifically build for pushing. Right? And instead, I just build for uh, fighting these heroes. See that guy? Done already. Didn't even need to do anything. Got him too! Oh shit, this dude has a lot of attack speed. But we have stuff! AoE damage! We're unbeatable. Radiance. Upgraded all the way. A soul cross, last level. Go. Get me that stuff. Upgrade these bad boys. Boar. Oh, yeah. Look at how strong we are. Look at how strong we are. They're gonna need to defend. I'm coming. Tower down. Tower down. I am killing things with a Radiance. I am so far away from them. It's got 2,100 Radius. Oh, yeah. 50,000 gold. Big money. I don't think I can get rid of boots, unfortunately. Do I want to get these boots or do I want to, like, upgrade power threads? Can I? No? No? Okay. I guess I'll get these. Oh no. Oh no. Now, well, what am I gonna do? I don't have boots. Their job is to kill me, not kill my base, these filthy rats. <laughs> He's just ratting me down? Is that what's going on? <laughs> All right. Well, can't say I feel great about that. Hmm. I got I got I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. Ratting in a game where somebody's playing one versus ten. Maybe not the most honorable thing that I have seen. <laughs> may, may, maybe not, maybe not. Fight me. You guys should have a lot of money. You just killed a bunch of towers. Got him. Slaughter's actually the scariest hero because you can perma bash us in theory. All right, down goes this. Nope. Come on! Got him. I think Blink goes now. I don't know what to replace it with, though. Like, Bloodstone, maybe? Just so we've got some healing. But I have really high movement speed with the Boots of Travel, so I don't really need Blink. Man, he's just... they still backdooring. Okay. Alchemist down. That's good. That's good. Slada's down, too. This is why. Look at these... <laughs> you people! <laughs> this is unbelievable. Unbelievable, I tell you. Alright, we just gotta keep all of the lanes pushed out. We know how to play Dota. We've been here before. Just gotta keep all the lanes pushed out. Oh, Dawnbreaker, bring it. Yeah. 
I am way stronger. Although this is a problem down here, maybe. I'm gonna get Megas. Oh, shit. If I attack here, I get attacked by both center towers? Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. No. No, this can't be it. Not like this. Not like this. No! God damn it! <laughs> Oh, man. I did so good. I did so well. <laughs> I think this is something new. This is going to be the first video that I ever upload. We play a game four times and just fucking lose four times. Unbelievable. But it's dinner time, so I got to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Maybe we can revisit this in the future. Maybe from the other side. Maybe we, 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 we win. Maybe we don't. Maybe we get rotted again. It was fun anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.